Hey guys, I'm back from winter break to talk about an app I installed while I was away. It's titled Memento Mori. I saw an ad on TV and decided to, you know, give it a shot because uh, it said I would get rewards for New Year's and, you know, it, it looked pretty nice. So I thought, yeah, I, I want some free stuff for New Year's. Memento Mori advertises itself as an AFK RPG. This doesn't mean the entire game is AFK. It just means that the battles are auto battle and the, they fight while you are away uh, in the overworld to give you some extra materials to spend the next time you come back. You still need to kind of touch the screen in order to initiate each boss battle, hence why it isn't completely AFK. First things first, I don't like how the game is completely auto battle. Uh, I do use auto battle and often in other games for grinding and farming, uh, gacha games in particular, so I could do you know other things on the side. But for, you know, strong enemies and big bosses, it's a lot more fun to actually strategize and plan out your next move. Yeah, it gives a lot more of a sense of accomplishment rather than just watching the boss die, like in Memento Mori. But what makes up for its lack of an intricate battle system is the fantastic art, live 2D, amazing music, very generous gacha rates, and pretty good story. The entire game has this watercolor aesthetic. Uh, that is very appealing to me. I found myself watching most of the battles play out just because of the scenic watercolor background. The art of the girls is uh, also very well done. There isn't a single character that I've seen so far where I thought their design looked like ugly in some way. You can see that the artists put like effort into every single character design regardless of rarity. And every single one of them has a lie to the and the special character song. Uh, again, regardless of rarity, even the lowest doo-doo rarity girl has her own song and it's amazing. All the songs are very well made. I will showcase two songs that I enjoy quite a bit. I will get copyrighted for using these songs, but I feel that it's worth it to showcase what I feel like uh, to be where all their effort was put into. So if you enjoy this video, uh, a like, comment, or subscribe will be greatly appreciated again because I won't be you know, making anything from this video. This video is just pure passion. Uh, the first is titled Twilight, uh, which is a character theme song for Iris, who is a, a free character, by the way. Well, the second one is titled Prey, which is a character theme song for Olivia. Both of these songs also have English versions if you choose to set the voices to English. And the English version for both songs is still really good. The thing about the Japanese version though is that they are either sung by the voice actor for that character or different artists or groups for every single song while the English versions however is sung by only a few people uh, so basically Japanese more variety uh, English more consistency and since uh, I'm going to get copyrighted for using these two songs anyway, I'm just going to set the background music to a bunch of different character songs from the game. You can go listen to all the songs after on the Memento Mori official YouTube channel. They have, they have most of the songs for most of the characters in English and in Japanese. So if you're interested and you think the songs are good, go check out the YouTube channel. 
and you know listen to uh, any of the songs you want here are some honorable mentions for uh some of the songs in memento mori that i do like I like how each song represents each girl's like character and personality. I'm always a big fan of that. Oh, I also forgot to mention that you can set any character to your home screen and their theme will play every time you open the game. Along with a little button you can press to bring up the lyrics which is pretty cool. Because it is in a way a form of lore for the character. Uh, so yeah. So because it's a gacha game, you know, it feels like I'm rolling the gacha more to, you know, get the song for my home screen which brings me to my next point the gotcha rates the rates in this game are super generous i rewrote a couple of times to see how generous it could get and my god i can make a full team of srs srs being the highest rarity every single time i rewrote it's ridiculous i feel that they made it really easy to get srs because they want more people to be able to hear the songs that they you know put so much effort into for example, um, what I mean by this is higher rarity equals harder to obtain, which also means less people will have them and less people will get to hear the that song, you know? So another reason why the rates could be generous is to incentivize people to keep playing their game and to spend more money to get even more girls because it's so easy to get SRs. You spend money to get even more SRs. The part that makes me really sad is that every character has their own story and special theme. But the lower rarities get so badly overshadowed by the higher rarities because SRs have almost double the stats of the Rs and um, Ns, Ns being uh, the normal rarity. Normals are basically entirely useless. There's even a feature in the game to get rid of every normal rarity you obtain, which is really sad considering the normals have their own character themes but you know won't see the light of day most of the time because they get thrown into the abyss every gacha pull uh, i feel bad for the people who perform these songs
Next is the story. The story is good and I enjoy it quite a bit. It's mostly character stories for each girl to, you know, flesh out who they are and such. Uh, the one thing I wish they had more of is, you know, character interactions. Most characters never interact with each, with each other and only, you know, mostly talk to you, the protagonist. If you want, you know, a, a new visual novel to sit down and read, uh, then this is a good app to get your hands on. Uh, I say that because you're not gonna really be playing this game. You're not gonna really be playing. You're going, you're gonna be more reading and watching more than playing. Overall, the game's AFK battle system kind of ruins what could be an amazing game. Uh, the art is fantastic and the music is superb. With the story, that's you know not not half bad. In conclusion, I feel like the game is a solid seven out of ten. There is a little bias in there because of how much I love the art style and music. But there is a major problem, which is, you know, of course, the battle system that will never be changed throughout the game's lifespan because they advertise this game as an AFK RPG, which is truly a shame since it could be it could be a really good gotcha game if it wasn't AFK, in my opinion. I think I'll continue playing this game for a while, you know, until my ears bleed from blasting prey every single time I log in. Uh, again, this video will definitely get copyrighted, so any support. Uh, would be appreciated and until next time bye bye